Hey guys, this is Riken here with another video. Today we're playing some more Mind Zero. And as I continue to mess up my voice and probably slander a couple of words, we're gonna continue with this game. About time! Let's go! Still feel like this game is very close to Persona. It has that Persona feel. Like, it feels like I'm looking at already established Persona 4 characters. With Persona 1 walking through hallways and some new and interesting combat. And someone decided to message me. This is a dungeon. That's the shop. And this is a character development. So let's go to the shop. I do not care. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Can I help you? Uh, I do not want. Okay, that music sounds pretty good. We have 1,123 yen. Something we can buy the entire team is most likely cotton gloves and ignorant sandals. Oh my gosh, Skype. Okay. So, hmm. so I guess we'll buy like two of these. Holy crap! That's all again. Okay. I'm just gonna give them to. Because we do not have enough money for everything else, so let's probably sell some things. And I managed to mess up. And we are currently playing the PC version, if you, you know, already didn't know. So, one billion on... I do not know that word. Okay. Let's go. Please. And let's go to save because we need to do that. Kill the ramp character development. Is something wrong? You just started punching the air. Oh, that? I'm glad you asked. Now that I've been given the power of mind, I'm training hard, so I'll be able to kick butt if terrorists attack or something. There's nothing I can't break, and no one I can't protect. I am Leo Asahina, the man with the left hand of God. Nothing stands before my onslaught. See? Are you serious? Hey, if you act like that, then maybe I won't bother to save you. <sighs> Remind me again who's always saving you? Okay, so now more character development. Oh, never mind that. We have this. In the convenience store. Two. Shizuku. So like, we're gonna talk to Shizuku. That cat on your bag is adorable. Yeah, it is. 
is, isn't it? It's a really cute cat. It definitely seems like your kind of thing. Thanks. Kay gave it to me. It was just something I got at the arcade. Figured she might like it. Whoa! I didn't know you were so good at those games. Hey, not fair. I want to do that too. Hey, Shizuku. I think Leo just said he's going to get you that big stuffed cat at the arcade. Really? Thank you. I kept trying to get it, but I guess I'm just not good enough. I've already got a name picked out for it and everything. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. I mean, it's just a stuffed cat. Oh, it's not just a stuffed cat. You better check your wallet. That thing is a money pit. Wait, seriously? Uh, Shizuku, you think uh, maybe you might settle for something easier? Kitty, 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 kitty. Give it up. Once she's got her mindset, there's no changing. Besides, you asked for this. <laughs> My savings! Leo always acting like such a child? Terrorists <laughs> and the God's left hand stuff. He probably just plays too many games. Hmm. I wonder how they'd introduce me if I was a character in a fighting game. Shine her looks, but can anyone be that good? Sana Chikage, the two fisted assassin, will be the last thing you see. Yeah, that's not bad. Um. Oh, hey, <laughs> were you watching that? Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh, yeah. Forget it, forget everything, ignore me. Okay, so after that very invariant C Mart, <laughs> yes. And now for K Takanashi. Day three. I forgot the name of the high school already, so I'm just gonna say high school. Saitamama. Okay, I, d I actually don't know that word. Prefecture, classroom? I don't know. I'm only 12 years old, people. After school. And we're done. So, what's next? We gonna go visit that guy in Nippori? Yeah, that was my plan. Then I'm coming with you. I've got a lot of questions for him. Shizuka wants to come, too. Does she? Yeah, I ran into her this morning and told her about yesterday. She said there was something she wanted to ask him. <laughs> oh, should I have not said anything? We should probably keep all this stuff to ourselves. We still don't really know anything about any of it but I do know that whatever's going on is dangerous I don't want people getting involved just because they're curious I know that don't worry I just told Shizuku about it because she's our friend I figured she was gonna find out eventually anyway he's right Chikage this isn't a game oh by the way I thought up a few more possible hero names. You mind if I run them by you? Really? You're the one who's gonna tell me this isn't a game? It boggles the mind, doesn't it? Whoa, 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 what are you saying? 
I'm always a hundred. No, 110% serious. Sorry for making you wait. Hey, Shizuku. Hey, you're finally here. <laughs> Sorry, I... <gasps> Whoa. What happened to your hand, Leo? It doesn't even look like a hand anymore. Wait, wait, you can see it? Then yeah, you're right. I've been blessed with an incredible power. Not this again. What's wrong with a little boasting? Doesn't hurt anyone. Ha! If only you could have seen me yesterday. So cool and heroic. We were there! And he still won't shut up about it. Oh, wow. I guess it must have been a pretty big deal, whatever it was. Kay won't tell me anything. I'm feeling kind of left out, guys. Are you feeling okay? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it's just... You look a little pale. Maybe I'm still tired from that after-school class yesterday? I'm actually feeling really good. Huh. Well, if you say so, just be careful, okay? <laughs> I will. You worry too much. All right, we're all here. Which means it's time to learn the truth behind the mystery of my left hand. Tunipari! Um, what should I be saying? Yay? <sighs> Oops, sorry. Was I not supposed to? We're not going to Nabori for you, and the less I know about your left hand, the happier I will be. <sighs> Look, are we ready? Let's go. Okay, so it looks like we're finally getting out of... Okay, I can probably not, you know, say that name because... I'm not good with Japanese things like kanji or pronouncing names in Japanese. Okay, I didn't even say that wrong either. Anyway, for you people, I'm not gonna butcher things like usual. I'm just gonna play the game. different from Mamma Mia, doesn't it? Is that a cat? <gasps> oh, I think I found it! Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. I guess his office is downstairs? Yeah, there's a sign on the door that said this is Ogata's office. I guess we're in the right place. Kind of boring for a private eye. Probably doesn't make much. This sign ought to light up and blink and stuff. Nobody's gonna go there if it looks like a strip club. She's right. A PI is supposed to be discreet, right? Nobody wants to be noticed going in there. Uh, yeah, I guess you have a point. Still, what matters is that we found it. Actually here, what are you going to ask him? I mean, I'm definitely asking about my hand. 
Yes, we're going to ask about your hand and the inner realm and minds and everything from yesterday. Welcome. Oh, hello. Hey. Uh, hello. Hey. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming out here. Wait. Who are you? Hello, I'm Shizuka Kamina. It's nice to meet you. I I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, me too. For kind of barging in like this. No kidding, you guys really wouldn't shut up. Sometimes I just don't know what to do with them. Kidding, I'm just kidding, please don't hurt me. I'll seriously smack you next time. Hey, guys. Anyway, hey, thanks for helping us out yesterday. Sorry I had to run out on you like that. You must be pretty curious if you came all the way here, though. You want to know more about mines, don't you? Yeah. I figured. Well, have a seat wherever. You want some coffee? Oh, sure. Thanks. You got any soda? I can really go for a soda. Sounds wonderful. Oh, wow, this is delicious. You're right, this is amazing. Glad to hear it. Have any trouble finding the place? Takes most people a few tries. Yes, we got lost a couple times. A lot of the buildings around here don't even have numbers. Seems kind of weird to have your office in a place like this, though. There isn't much traffic. True, but the unusual location means unusual business. True, true. What do you mean by unusual business, though, if I could ask? You know, ghost hunting. Ah-ha! I knew it! I knew it! You're him, right? The guy everyone's talking about? Oh, well, maybe. I wouldn't know. Anyway, didn't you come here to ask me something? Yeah, well, a lot of things. I'd like you to tell us everything you know about mines and all the rest. I'd be happy to, but uh, I have to ask you a question of my own first. Why were you even there? Well... Interesting. It's quite a story. You're pretty lucky, in a way. Lucky? It's a long story. You'll just have to bear with me for a bit. Yesterday, I told you about the mines. Stands for Major Inner Node Displacement. Most people don't know they exist. Only a handful of government men and a few cops know the truth. What? Why? Because the government wants it that way. They keep the truth under lock and key. What are you talking about? Most of the people who think they know what mine is actually don't. You're gonna need to be more specific. The general perception is that mind is a drug, a particularly dangerous one. What? Wait, wait, it's a drug? Does... does that mean we're all high right now? Leo, have you even heard a word he said? Of course, all of you know by now that it's not a drug. It's just what the government wants people to think. 
Why would they go to so much effort to hide the truth? But what is the truth? I'm afraid I don't have all the answers. That doesn't matter. You've got more than we do. All right. Do you remember what the Inner Realm is? Yeah, I think so. You said it was a world that's separate from ours, the Outer Realm, but is still linked to it. Correct. And just as humans live in the Outer Realm, the Inner Realm has its own residence. Then you're saying that's what minds are? Creatures native to the Inner Realm? Exactly. There are about as many of them in the Inner Realm as there are of us in the Outer Realm. Whoa, that's a lot! They're different from us, though. Violence seems to be their basic mode of interaction, but they have power beyond anything a human would want. Hmm. So they're like some kind of... mirror monsters? Just one word. Persona. That's an uh, interesting way of putting it. But I suppose it's not entirely inaccurate. The inner realm is a bit like a reflection of our world. There's some sort of barrier between the realms that can't be crossed, though. One theory says that it's because they're slightly misaligned. Whatever the reason, it means that normally we can't cross over, and neither can any of the mines. Unfortunately, that's only normally. So, sometimes you can? Yes. You saw one, actually. Remember the door? You mean they were using that to come here from the inner realm? Exactly. Although the doors go both ways. What do you mean? They can use them to step out here, into the outer realm. But they can't actually last very long here. So usually, they'll try and take over the body of a human. The host experiences several visual and auditory hallucinations, as well as extreme aggression but they also gain supernatural powers. The popular idea of possession is fairly close to what actually happens. Jeez, that sounds horrible. Is it easy for minds to possess people like that? No, it's not. Or at least it shouldn't be. Your uh, mind is naturally resistant to that kind of invasion. But if it's not in the best shape, some of the defenses start to come down. What does that mean? If you're depressed, or irritable, or angry, or something, negative emotions make it easier for a mind to get inside you. They seem to be able to spot people who will make easier targets. Oh. Do you remember that kid we saw? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. He would have been a perfect target. Interesting, interesting. What did you mean that it goes both ways, though? They can also use those doors to bring people from our world into theirs. They've been doing it for a long time. Sometimes when people go missing, that's where they go. Wait, you're saying that's what they were doing with me? You're just now figuring that out. But what happens to the people they pull into the inner realm? Nothing good, I'm sure. I'm guessing you have a pretty good idea of how hard it would be to survive over there. Mines are violent by nature. And they seem to like to... Well eat us. That sounds horrible. What is a minder? Hmm. 
How should I explain that? Well, we know the inner and outer realms are counterparts of one another, so it follows that their residents are too. Following that line of thought, it makes sense that somewhere out there is a mind counterpart to you. Get it? Um, I'm not sure. Like a mirror version of ourselves. Persona! Persona 4. There we go. Was it thou art I and our I and thou? Thou art I, and I art thou. Anyway, you got the Leo Akarna, so let's continue. That's probably the best way to look at it. Yeah. They're like you, but not you. You've managed to establish some sort of working relationship with your mind counterpart. The people who do that are usually called minders. Although it isn't like uh, an official term or anything. Then I made a contract with her. And I made a contract with him. Is something wrong, Sana? Your face suddenly got all red. What? Oh no! Nothing at all. I'm not thinking about, uh, about, about anything. You're not thinking at all? Well, that doesn't sound good. I, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. You guys really need to be careful setting up a contract. As an experienced mail order expert, I'm very disappointed. Wait. Wait, wait, are you saying I made a contract with the demon? When did I do that? I think you know when. I do? Wait. The store? That lady. I think she called herself the Undertaker? Correct. I'm guessing you visited the shop too? My best guess is that the act of choosing a weapon is the equivalent of setting up a contract. Are you serious? Dang, I should have put more thought into what I chose. The conditions of the contract seem awfully ambiguous, though. Some people get fused with their mind somehow, or just get devoured. Maybe it has something to do with compatibility? Wait, Fuse? You mean like me? I'm sorry. Leo.exe has stopped responding. <laughs> and also, so it seems like he just said, either fusion or get devoured. So if your Windows 10 has compatibility issues with you, that Windows 10 will eat you. So, yeah. And shut up, game. I already know controls. Sort of. You've only been partially fused. So, how does the store set up these contracts? Unfortunately, I don't have any idea. All I can say for sure is that you're alive because you made a contract with a mind. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm um, sorry, but do these mind things look like ghosts? Hmm. Well, no. To most people, they don't look like anything. They're invisible. But I wouldn't say they're ghost-like. The only minders can see them. But I can see them. Really? You can see minds? Have you made a contract too? No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. But I am sure I can see them. I just don't know why. Is that not normal? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of a case like yours before. A little while ago, she just started to see things other people couldn't. Hmm. Interesting. I'll, I'll look into it, alright? 
Thank you. I wonder why I can see them. Why are we minders anyway? Well, because we're special, I assume. We're sure not normal. When you became a minder, you learned about things you weren't supposed to know. That means you're being hunted. What? By who? What I told you today about your minds. Leo. Who's the person who doesn't want you to know that you're being... That minds are the real deal of what they actually are. The government. They're saying mind is drug, kids. Don't 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 do mind, cause it's worse than marijuana. Keep it to yourself. It's not easy for people to accept what they don't understand. What does that mean? Uh, well. I think he's saying people might not like you because you're different. It's a little more harsh than what I meant, but I suppose it's true. What are you going to do now? We're still trying to figure that out. But we can't just leave Leo's hand like that. And we can't ignore that Shizuku's seeing things she shouldn't. You're probably right on both counts. Of your friend's arm might mean that he hasn't finalized his contract yet. What? Really? Then how do we finalize it? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that one. Hmm. <laughs> Am I going to get eaten? Oh no. Is there anything we can do? Hmm. If you don't mind, I'd like your help. What? There's still a lot I don't know about mines. But the more I study them, the more I stand to find out. I want to know if you'd be willing to help me with that. Are you asking us to be like... Your assistance? Yes. The first step to learning anything is gathering information. Even out here I get a lot of cases, and I'm pretty sure some of them involve mines or the inner realm somehow. I've been trying to handle them all myself, but lately I've been thinking I could use a hand. He wants a bunch of high school students to go to the inner realm. Play things, possibly get killed, because they want to understand more about this world. I'm actually fine with this story, because it actually kind of makes sense. And I also, I... also, this wouldn't be a bad anime. If you'd be willing to help, I'd be much obliged. Yes, I'll do it. I mean, I'm kind of boned if I don't figure this stuff out. But at least I get to work with a private eye. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Well, we're not going to get anywhere on our own without information. I... <sighs> yeah, seems kind of irresponsible to even try and figure out what's going on. I don't have a mind like you guys do, and I'm afraid of scary things, but... I'll do whatever I can to help, if you want me to. Just don't do anything you're not comfortable with, okay? That's it then! We're in! Assistant to a private detective. So, uh, when do I get my business card? There was one more thing I wanted to ask you. Why do you know so much about all this? Minds and the inner realm? I guess you could say I've got a history. What do you mean? 
But once you get to be my age, everyone's got one or two things in their past they'd rather not talk about. What the heck? You'll understand sooner than you think. All I can tell you right now is that I'm not your enemy. Now, if I can get down to brass tacks... Taking on jobs. Oh, taking on jobs. Okay, I don't know where I got talking from. I'm actually gonna read this one. Uh, there's no prawn? Uh... Oh, okay. Apparently A does that. Okay, just talk to a person you can get a request. Guys, your party, only three characters can participate at battle at a time. You can select which characters will fight fri through the camp menu. Press X button to get to bring up the organization screen. You can swap characters by pressing the A button. Hello. Hey, feel free to make yourself at home. Let's see. Here are the job requests I've got right now. You want to grab one of them? Hello. Alright, today's assignment is going to be for you. To get some experience fighting. You lost me. Come on, we already been in all sorts of fights. <laughs> Maybe, but there's always room for improvement. What do you say? Okay. I think you're right. We'll be fighting. Let's see. To be honest, nothing very challenging. <sighs> But remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's see. The same goes for getting hurt, though. Don't ignore small scratches or they'll start to add up. I'm curious. Anyway, today, I'm sending you to the limit of life. Hmm. In Amamiya. Hmm. Uh-huh. I'll be asking you to hunt down Mio Winds. Let's see. I like to kill him. Kill. Hmm. About 10 should do it. There'll be other mines there, so be careful. That's it. Good luck. Hey. Okay, we not we can't take on like two requests sadly. Hey. Be careful on your way home. So next episode we'll be going to the park after we develop some characters and go to C Mart. So, this is Raiken, and today we're going to be signing off.